and welcome to Shut Up and Game! Today I am going to seek the materials I need to make the oven I unlocked last video. The ever charcoal chunk is something I have not seen yet, but I have noticed the barbecue tipped over near the pond. This seems to be the most likely place to obtain it. First, I need to make sure I am prepared for the journey, and stop to do a little organizing. As you have no doubt noticed, I do have a mod installed to increase the stack sizes. This is the only modification I have made to the game. I am not entirely sure how or why I am a skeleton, but I like it. I hope it stays. If you are getting any value from this content, please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any feedback. This is a new channel, and so your support is more important than ever. Before I head off and search for the charcoal I need, I decide to see what is in the secret sandbox lab, now that I have the assistant manager card. Approximately 10 hours later. This zipline is pretty slow, and I don't want to build that tower any higher. It took an absurd amount of time to make it as it is, I had to create an entire base just dedicated to getting the materials up there. At least you can send stems and planks down ziplines, so it helps speed the process along. It still beats walking.
There is the barbecue in the distance. I see I can just walk around the rim of the pond to get to it, that will be easy. My excitement grows as I near the secret sandbox lab. What could be inside? I had to defeat a rather interesting boss to get the keycard, it must be the greatest challenge yet. But, there is a chip, just casually placed on the table. No enemies to fight, no puzzles to solve. I am thoroughly deflated and disappointed, but at least I have the next chip. I hope it gives me something good, but whatever it is, it will not feel very special. I previously built a base at this oasis with my partner. I take this opportunity to rest up and get sorted, before I head back for the charcoal. First, these antlions need a little encouragement to get off my damn lawn. I head back after my underwhelming experience in the sandbox, only to have another underwhelming trip around the edge of the pond. I will speed it up a bit. There it is! And sure enough, there are the charcoal pieces I need. Easy peasy! I noticed there are some over the edge as well in the dry grass. I am amazed it hasn't started a fire yet. Time to head back! I still need some glands from the bombardier beetles. I only know of a couple places they spawn, one of which is near my pond base. That's one part down. Now to check how much clay I have. None, it seems. At least there is plenty of clay to find in the pond.
Now just the beetle parts remain. This is the main spot I know beetles spawn at. The other is near the picnic bench. I am sure there are other nearby spawns, but I can't think of any right now. One gland down, now I need three more. Hopefully they all drop one, sometimes they do not, and I only know of where to find four of these guys. I try to go past the sleeping spider. I have never tried it before, and I am startled when it wakes up. I think part of my soul leaves my body. Why must spiders exist? They are the creepiest and most disgusting creatures on the planet. I hate them, and I let this orb weaver know all about it. Now that I have exhausted the spawn of beetles, I head off towards the picnic table to find more. Although, the second stage of the ladder is annoying me. I set a blueprint for a half floor, later I will have to drop some planks down here and get it built.
set off here thinking maybe there are some beetles over by the spade, but it seems to be a bust. I know there will be more beetles this way for sure, it is only a matter of time. These jerks are always shooting at me when I try to get onto the picnic table, it is the only reason I remember they are here. I usually just ignore them, now it is time for revenge. I'm getting lucky, so far they have all dropped a gland. If this final one near the handle drops one, I will be set. Nice. Now all I have to do is get back to base.
I forgot that I still need to make a zip line going from the picnic table. Looks like I'll have to leg it for now. I might as well get more glands, I will have to remember this spot as well.
I really love this game. I have pretty much exhausted the main content it has to offer now, but I really look forward to more additions in the future. And there we go! My first oven is completed! Now I will finally be able to upgrade my weapons beyond level 5! I am pretty sure the sandbox chip will unlock some more globs for me! The next step is to find where the materials come from! I did notice a spicy candy package in the sandbox, I am wondering if that is where you get the spicy materials from! As for the salt, I have only seen one on the picnic table, but the arid climate of the sandbox suggests maybe there is some there as well. On my way to see what Burgle unlocks with the sandbox chip, I check my food trap to see what is in there. It seems my slurry has either despawned or been eaten, with only a single aphid to show for it. Thank you for joining me on this small adventure! It was a bit disappointing to see little to no thought put into the sandbox laboratory, but perhaps in the future they may revisit this. For my next adventure, I think I will go face the last boss I know about, the Brood Mother. I hope to see you then! Make sure to subscribe so you know when I release more, until then remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn! So, just shut up and game!